Ivanis the Broaden, my God Ziggy. Ivanis the Broaden, my God Ziggy. There you go. Benjamin Franklin once said, there are three faithful friends, an old wife, an old dog, and ready money. I'm working on the old wife part. She's fairly new. And I think I'm right on the cusp of having that ready money. However, I've had the honor of owning a dog for the past seven years. Fellow Toastmasters and guests, today I want to tell you about my chocolate lab Catahoula named Ziggy and the lessons that I've learned from him. I walk Ziggy every morning and our journey routinely takes us behind a tennis complex. There, the Florida brush holds long lost tennis balls sprinkled throughout the region. For Ziggy, it's paradise. It's like an Easter egg hunt with a brand new layout each morning. There's also a long grassy retention ditch and that's where we play catch. One day, I'm walking around and I aimlessly lob a tennis ball high up into the air. And it just so happens that it bounces off the top of the embankment. Ziggy's running at it in a full sprint. And I watch him. I see him register the trajectory of the ball. I witness his hind legs coil up like springs. I watch his eyes widen and his focus narrow. He launches himself after the ball, which is now high in the heavens over the middle of the ditch. At his peak, he caught the ball. And at his peak, he was about 12 feet in the air. It was an impressive sight to see. It was as if, in that moment, my dog had drank a Red Bull and suddenly grown wings. Wow! When he landed, his legs buckled, his face hit the ground, and his body slid like a plane making an emergency landing. I was worried. I thought he was hurt. But he gets up, happy, smiling, holding the neon green smear, sphere in his mouth. Reflecting on that moment, I realized that sometimes we all need to take a leap of faith. When we commit, when we focus, when we put it all on the line, we all have a chance to do incredible things. There's another game that I play with Ziggy, and this one can only be played at the beach. Let me set the scene for you. I bend over, I grab a handful of wet sand, and although it clumps up at first, it slowly seeps through my fingers. I take that disintegrating mass and I throw it right out of Ziggy's reach as he tries to catch it. It disappears in the water and he looks down, looks back up at me and asks for me to throw another one. And we do this over and over and over again. He ignores all the other dogs on the beach. He plays this game for hours. He plays until the point of exhaustion. It's a game he's never won. It's a task he's never succeeded in. It's a challenge he's never overcome. And yet he comes back to me over and over again. This has taught me that one of the most important things in life is a problem that you're passionate about. Think about it. NASA putting a man on the moon. Newton, laws of physics. Einstein, the theory of relativity even if a problem seems impossible. Devoting yourself to a solution may be one of the most gratifying things in your life. Ziggy's taught me a lot of other lessons too. For example, in law school, when I went out to class, I'd leave him back at the apartment. 
he would tear up the carpets, <laughs> claw at the doors, even putting a hole in the bottom of one. It drove me crazy. But that taught me patience. One time I was cutting his claws, trimming his nails, and I accidentally cut the blood vessel, the quick. He let me cut the rest of his nails. That taught me about complete, unwavering trust. There was another time we were at the dog park, it was drizzling a little bit, and all of a sudden a lightning bolt struck half a block away. All the other dogs ran to the opposite corner trying to jump the fence. Ziggy, foaming at the mouth, barking like a madman, ran towards the boom in the flash. And that showed me what true fearlessness looks like. Fellow Toastmasters and guests, stay in the moment. Have an open mind. Observe the little things. And next time we bump into each other, Please, share the lessons that you've learned from the smaller moments in life, like I have learned from my dog, Ziggy. <laughs>